start. Well, okay, when we first started, we knew that we didn't want debt, um, and we had always lived our lives without debt, without credit card debts, without car loans, without house loans, everything. And all my husband had was 7,000. This was the option, this was 5,000 uh, for us to get, and then we knew we had to make repairs. We did minimal repairs when we first got it. Now it's been five years. We're finally stable. My husband makes more income, so we just slowly waited till we were able to do projects. Okay, so what, uh, first of all, this whole uh, thing right here is a grand experiment because really the conditions aren't great here. There's trees all over the place. Our yard gets maybe three hours of sunlight a day, so it's not ideal for growing. Uh, but we're learning how uh, to garden, what to do properly, you know, and all those kind of things. And then when we finally get to our property, uh, we'll actually have the conditions that will hopefully give us good yields. most recent thing that we did uh, is we're learning how to compost. And right here I've got uh, three uh, little stalls for the compost to keep our dog out of it, number one. Um, and uh, being able to keep the dog out of it and leave the dog in the yard also keeps cats and other things out of the yard. Because the dog keeps the cats out of the yard, stalls keep the dog out of the compost because she loves compost. But. right now this is this is about um, two and a half weeks three weeks old right now and uh, you can see a little bit of life on it right now there's plenty of bugs in there yeah but uh, and it's warm to the touch so that's awesome so it's doing its job and it smells good it smells really good it smells like dirt Right here, here's a tip from uh, oh, his book, wow. David the Good. Um, this was supposed to be our February, March compost pile. And we went about two weeks in, that's why this is two weeks old, uh -huh. because I turned this the first week and it had um, what I, what we believe is squash growing in it, because yeah. it composted squash. Right. So we, I, it was growing, I turned it and buried it, Second week I came out, cardboard over top of it and everything, pulled it off, and, and it was growing again. And I said, if it wants to grow, let it grow. You know, and that's and that's one of the things that he had mentioned. He said they got, I think it was, I want to say 200 pounds of pumpkins yeah. out of a compost pile because it just decided to grow. Yeah. Um, with our front garden beds, um, I had done what's called... Um, layered composting mm -hmm. which I think uh, you've done yeah. as well and that really did work out very well um, it does change the quality of the soil um, like we've got broccoli right up here um, as you can see it's gotten a little warm and I've never seen broccoli flowers before but uh, yeah those are beautiful they are beautiful and uh, <clears throat> we've got some heads here um, and our property doesn't have any oak trees so I've let this oak tree grow so that when we get out there, we can uh, actually put it out there. But we've got spinach right here, and that's doing pretty well. Um, I probably need to learn how to trim them better. Um, I don't know if you uh, trim these like basil, if they if they grow more out or if it just kills them or whatever. Which kind of spinach is it? I cannot remember. New I'd Zealand have to look Malabar. at the. No, no, that rings a bell. I'd have to, I'd have to look. And this right here, as far as I know, is a weed, but. Uh, but it has flowers on it, yeah. which uh, I've decided to leave because uh, we don't get a lot of bees around, you know? Uh, just let them come. And, uh, and I had built this uh, tiered um, compost, or not tiered compost, I, I had built this tiered planting box uh, about maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Um, and it is showing signs of falling apart. I but, think that's uh, brilliant that you used the siding though, so it has some drainage. Yes, use the siding on the bottom just so that it didn't, you know, keep a lot of the moisture. But uh, 
honestly for the effort that went into this and for as long as it's lasted i'm not going to do that it's again. fantastic it's just, though it's too much time i'd i'd much rather we've got some uh raised beds over here and these ones um are going to uh be for tomatoes yeah. um as soon as that first compost bin is done then we're gonna put uh put everything right here uh, pretty much what has grown well around here the broccoli has grown well both for uh the leaves and the florets have done pretty well as long as you leave uh the leaves alone if you don't leave the leaves alone they don't go floret but uh broccoli has done well cucumbers have done well um okra does really well around here and the tomatoes uh do really well so when we get out to the land we've got about four crops that we can kind of uh rotate i believe right now we've got some uh uh, plants, they look rather unimpressive right now because uh, some trees that is uh, because of the winter. We've got some fig, uh, we've got three figs and uh, some uh, pomegranate, two pomegranate plants, some vines, some blueberries, we've got some stuff that uh, we've, we've planted about half of it in the backyard, dispersed out. Um, because around here blueberries do well, mm -hmm. uh, blackberries do well, and um, muscadine grapes uh -huh. do really well. Uh